Hey, what is up, guys? So, today I'm going to be making a uh, GoPro setup video. So, yeah. The GoPro that I would have in the waterproof case I'm currently using to film. I don't know if you can see it in the reflection of my visor or not. But, uh, yeah. So, the GoPro that I use is a GoPro Hero 3 Plus Silver Edition. And right now I have it in the frame mount, which I also sometimes use. So, uh, yeah. Let's kind of get started here. So... Bringing the helmet forward, the helmet that I use is a G-Max GM11D, even though it says S on the back. I bought it as a D model, which is, no, the, nor the, which is the normal dual sport model, but it came with snowmobile stuff for some odd reason. Not all the snowmobile stuff, just some of it. So I thought that was a little bit odd. I just have Thor stickers on there because it just brightens up the helmet a little bit and makes it look cooler. And also it makes it look like a not a poor helmet. So, uh, yeah. The normal uh, housing that I use for when I'm riding around is the uh, waterproof housing. Um, I had to drill a hole in the side of it though for the microphone adapter, which is kind of a bummer. But I try to keep it as tight as possible so the microphone adapter seals itself, which it does a pretty good job of doing. I've rode in the rain before and I haven't had any issues with it. So, you know, there's that. The GoPro is attached to the helmet via a couple of uh, these, I don't even know what to call these. It came with the uh, helmet um helmet uh mounts so i had to buy two helmet mounts in order to get all the parts that i needed in order to pull this off so that's how that is kind of attached there in order to get the same angle every single time i adjusted it to where the point that the back of the gopro is just barely touching the helmet so that's how i know i get the same exact angle every single time that i uh, take off my gopro and put it back on so it keeps really consistent and just looks better and then the microphone I have plugged into the microphone adapter, obviously, and the cord runs through the peak, up to the top of the peak, then through the top of the helmet, and down through a vent hole in the helmet. And then all those wires are jumbled up with inside the helmet. So all the wires are in there somewhere. The microphone ballast I have in the back of the helmet because I did have it up in the front, but riding in cold weather, your breath would just basically turn into water instantaneously. And with the ballast up in the front, it will just completely get soaked with water. And usually water and electronics that are powered don't work very well together. So I had to fix that. So it just kind of temporarily placed right here for right now. It's not the best place to put it right here. It kind of gets in the way when you try to put on the helmet. But I, could, I just deal with it. Uh, the microphone that I am using, by the way, is a Radio Shack 333013, which is the same exact microphone that Motor Trippin uses. Uh, it's not the best microphone in the world, but it's so freaking cheap and easy to get that, I mean, why not use it? So, yeah. Um, for the microphone placement, a lot of people, they put it somewhere inside of their cheek pad, or either that, or they put it somewhere up in the front of their helmet. Well, not me, because this helmet has this fancy little feature, I guess you could call it, where it has a pocket within each cheek pad. And this pocket is specifically designed for different audio devices, whether it be a Bluetooth headset, or in my case, I, um, a lavalier mic. So the microphone is put inside of this little tiny pocket. So this way it's not exposed to any raw wind noise or anything like that. And it picks up my voice surprisingly well considering how deeply buried it is inside the helmet. It picks up the sound of the bike and everything else around me pretty good too. So this is actually a pretty good placement. Especially if you're going to be doing a lot of off-road vlogging or you know cold weather vlogging. Because I also had the microphone up in the front of the helmet and that got completely saturated with water too. And the microphone actually stopped working for a while. And I still don't think it's exactly how it should be. Because it does sound a little bit wonky sometimes. But, uh, yeah. Also, another thing I noticed with this microphone placement is I could hear my heartbeat. Yes, I'm not kidding. Because of, like, where it is, it's right by uh, one of my major veins inside of my head. Or major arteries, I guess. So, it actually can hear the blood pumping through my head. Which is kind of strange. But, if you listen closely in some of my videos, you could hear it. I'll try to point it out. But, uh, yeah, that's basically all my GoPro setup is. So it's just a simple microphone, a simple GoPro. It's not the Black Edition GoPro, in case you uh, did not notice. It's the Silver Edition, so it's the cheaper model. And I don't have that cheap of a, um, or I don't have that expensive of a microphone either. So, I mean, getting into motor vlogging really isn't that expensive. You just have to have a little bit of money, a little bit of time in order to get into it. And it's really not too bad. But this helmet is an extremely good helmet for motor vlogging too considering just the fancy features that it has and the easy microphone placement and easy GoPro placement. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. 
So if you like this video, uh, leave a like, leave a favorite, do whatever you want to do. If you have any questions about, you know, where to get some of this stuff or any questions about how your setup is, then uh, leave them down in the comments or personal message me or whatever you got to do. So yeah, thanks for watching.